everyone, I'm Grattles, and today I'm going to show you how to start a city without using highways. Um, we're going to use the Sunset Harbor DLC, and we're going to use Swamplands, so I just named it Swamplands. And we're going to go into here, and we're going to unlock all milestones. And then we're going to go ahead and click Start. We have to unlock all milestones because we need railroad connections as well as railroads. So let's go ahead and start this up. So as soon as our map loads, we're going to pause it. And we start off with 715,000. So we're going to have to go to the railroads, which is one tile above our starting tile. So we're going to go to areas and we're going to unlock this tile. So once we've done that, you can see the railroads right here. Running straight across. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete this off ramp. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete all my trees. So I'm going to go into landscaping. I'm going to go to trees. Click on a tree. I'm going to use my right D-pad to enlarge the circle. I'm going to click up on the D-pad to intensify it. And I'm going to hold down my square button. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these trees. Next I'm going to go into my delete tool which is just the square button I'm gonna enlarge the circle again and I'm just gonna get rid of all the rocks so now I'm just gonna click my delete button and go back down to the small blue so I don't delete anything unnecessarily So I'm gonna go into my roads and I'm gonna pick a four lane road and I'm just going to determine where I would like to put my industrial area and my residential area. So I do have farming, so I will unlock that. So let's go ahead and put a train in over here for our passengers. So we're just going to come above the node on the bottom by one, two dashes and draw a line across to two. Then we're going to come down a little bit more over here. Let's see. This is one, two, three, let's go to three, and let's see. I want to, let's come over by one. Come down by one, come across, now let's go to here, now let's go from this node right above the node right there, draw a line by two, and then connect these two. So now we know this is connected and this is connected. Now we're just going to go ahead and delete our railroad. One, two, three, four. And we'll come over here. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to go into our trains. We're going to go get our cargo train, which is right here. And we're just going to put this in the middle. And then we're going to go to our passenger train and do the same over here. We're going to come in by two. I meant two squares, which is right there. And then we're going to put our track in. now we're going to go ahead, 
finish this road. Like so. So now we can come off of here. We're just going to draw a straight line to about here with our four lane. And we're not going to worry about that side so much yet. So now we need a residential area. I'm going to come off of here. I'm going to come down by two. And then we're going to come. Let's see if I could do. Actually, let's come to the second one. It's easier. I'm going to come off this node right here by that. You'll see the two dashes. I'm just going to make a little marker in there. I'm going to do the same over here. We can come up to here and connect them. So now that we have that drawn out, I'm just going to take this right about here, come over by one, two, three, four. And we're just going to draw a line right in the middle. And then we're going to do this again next to it. One, two, three, four. But we're going to come over five. Then we're going to come down here like this and draw a line here. So we left a little space in here for our park and then we're going to come down, do the same over here. Go ahead and do this one more time. We need quite a bit of residence. And we're going to delete this one right here. And that's going to be for parks also. So we do have this space here, this space here, that'll add um, our parks to, which will raise our land value. So now we're just going to come in off of here, and we're going to extend our four lane down to the end here, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring these in. Mm -hmm right here and right here so now let's go into our industry road we're going to come down by about 12 draw this in and let's just come in from about here to here to here and come in so now we don't have a lot of farming area over here but we do have plenty here so let's go ahead and draw this in right here 
and then maybe a road right here. So let's go ahead and delete this because we don't have good farmland there. We'll just add a little bit of a piece here. And we'll delete that. So now we have our farm industry laid out. Let's go into our districts. And let's just paint this so we know that any industry that spawns in will be farming. And we'll go ahead and label this farming. So now we have our layout basically done. We'll have to go ahead and add some services. <coughs> so let's go ahead and go into our industrial roads again. We're going to come down and drop it down. Come across. And then come back up. Just like that. So then we're going to come in by about two. Come over about two. And that's about our basic layout. So now we went from 715,000 to about 535. We still have to place in our utilities. So let's go ahead and put in an oil power plant. And we'll do so right on the edge here. And we need garbage. So let's go ahead and put in an incinerator plant. Right there. And then we have to do our water. So let's go ahead and get our drain pipe. And we'll go ahead and place that right about here. And because we are using Sunset Harbor, I have the Inland Water Treatment Plant. So we'll go ahead and use that. And now we're just going to go ahead and get our pipes. And what I like to do is just run it straight from about here all the way down. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to come over by 460. Just notch it in. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And we will need one more. So now that we have our water notched out, we'll go ahead and run it down. We are going to need to run this one more time. Let's go ahead and do it on this side. Right to there. So now that we have our water in, we just have to hook up our sewer. Mm, let's go ahead 
we'll go straight across. There we go. We have to add electric to our water. And then to our train stations. And then from there, we have to add it to our residence. So let's go ahead and just run it from here. To there. And then let's go ahead and run it to our industrial area. Like so. So the next thing we want to do is go into our budget and turn everything down to 50. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn these taxes up to 12. And we have about 420 in the bank. So let's go ahead and fill in some green. Green is for our low density residential. And I'm going to use the select button. I'm just going to hit this outside bit. Just like so. And then I'm going to fill in these right here. Just the first two to start. Make sure our electric catches. And... I think we can go ahead and get our game started. So let's go ahead, put it on three speed, and start it up. Let's leave these little pockets open for maybe some uh, pathways. We'll see where our electric is carrying. So we can go ahead and delete this power line now. And let's go ahead and fill in a little more industrial. All the way down to here. So now we need some fire and police. So let's go ahead and put them on the ends here. Let's see. We need fire for both sides. 
Let's see. How where does this go? We'll go ahead and put this on the end here. Because it'll serve for both the residence and the industrial and the commercial. And let's go ahead and put in a police station right there. And let's go ahead and put a park in right in the middle here. And an elementary school. And some medical. I think the medical we'll put right in the middle. There we go. So now let's go ahead and fill out some more green. like we need to turn up our budget on our electricity so let's go ahead and go into our economy and go to our electricity and turn that up to about we'll do 65 and let's go check our water as well that needs to be turned up a little bit so let's go ahead and do that also We'll go to 65 also. We do have a small industrial need. So let's go ahead and just fill in up here. into our inspector and check and see if we have any lights which we do we'll go ahead and turn those off I also think I'm going to change this road to a single lane like so I think I'm going to do the same here Actually, no, because I have the commercial here, I will leave that as a commercial road as well. Now our electric should have carried, so let's go ahead into our electric. And let's see... We could definitely delete this one. And I think what we'll do is we'll run this to here. And we'll delete this. And we'll go ahead in and fill in some more blue down here.
go ahead and turn up our electricity again. We'll take it to about 80. And let's go ahead and turn up our water to about 75. There we go. So we're still in the negative, but not by much. Let's go ahead and finish filling in our green. And now we are making a positive income. There it goes, it's just climbing now. And so we've successfully put in a city without using any highways and without going into debt. And we are now making a positive income. So that's how you put in a city without using any highways. If you like my content and you would like to see more, please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.